Hi everyone, I'm Marshall Sandy. I'm the third runner-up on Mission Catwalk Season 4, the High Fashion Edition, and I'm a Mission Catwalk All-Star on Season 5. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Chan, Season 2, Mission Catwalk Designer. I'm now on Season 5, All-Star Cast, representing Trinidad. We are here to invite you to support us, your Trinidad and Tobago representatives on Mission Catwalk All-Stars. On TV6, every Saturday at 9.30 p.m. The whole Mission Catwalk All-Star experience was amazing for me. I felt like it was a blessing just being on, on the cast with so many other talented fashion designers. I mean, I've had to work and compete against designers from season one, Mission Catwalk winner Shana Kari. I've had to compete against Carla Gittin. Ryan Chan, who's really popular in Trinidad, um, so it was a lot. There was a lot of attention. Um, tension. There was a lot of intimidation. The challenges was not um, easy at all. And I, I was just happy that I was, you know, just a part of it. Just being there was a blessing for me. My first time on Mission Catwalk, I was on season two. I had maybe less than two months learning how to sew and I still went on to Mission Catwalk. And it was, I mean, the experience was amazing. I couldn't even imagine all of this would happen. Um, with two months experience, I was still in the top three. So I guess it basically showed that, like I was born to do this. It was something natural with me. And I took that and I ran with it. Well, my debut was on Mission Catwalk season four, the high fashion edition. It was, Really epic, I had an amazing time. I competed well, I represented Trinidad and Tobago well. I placed fourth, which is stood one up. The last person to get sent home, uh, I was a little disappointed that I didn't make it to the top three. But I mean, Kurt Campbell, who won, he was really exceptional. And I mean, I did pretty well. I won a challenge, and you know, I got a lot of support from Trinidad and Tobago and even Jamaica as well. So, Season four was awesome. Um, being around all these, I I, I want to say talented, but I feel like they're more crazy than talented. But it was it was amazing. The experience was I couldn't even I would never picture being on a show to have that experience. Like I've made friends that from since 2012, and we're still good friends. So I feel like it was something I I didn't really. Like, I couldn't understand what would happen without be actually being there. Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica was exciting. Um, I don't know. Somehow, I, it, it wasn't like what I really thought it would be, but Jamaica is really beautiful. Uh, the people are friendly. The New Kingston is beautiful. The nightlife is awesome. The food is awesome, even though I had a bit <laughs> much of peas and rice to eat or rice and peas as they say. Um, but it was really awesome and I was actually like I felt proud as a Trinidadian at sometimes because Jamaicans appreciate soca music so much. Like almost everywhere you go, every party you go to, there's soca music playing and there's a whole big vibe and you know they love the soca so it was learning, it was a learning experience, and it was just really epic for me. I, I went on to Mission Catwalk with two months learning to sew. So picture learning to sew with a domestic sewing machine and an industrial sewing machine. It's, it's like a completely different world. I remember putting my dress into the sewing machine and I just pull it straight through the thing. And I just, I, st I stood up and I looked at myself and I'm like, I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> But you know what? I faked it till I made it. And I, I was on the top three. Season five, I, the only word I could think about saying, and I mean everyone said, season five was epic. The challenges were crazy, they were difficult. Uh, there was a bit of a drama, <laughs> maybe including myself. I can't say you have to watch to see that to figure out what exactly went on. But um, 
it was it was good. I I I did well. Um, I don't know. It, <laughs> you have to watch to see. It was really epic. Uh, being invited to season five, I take it as a great honor because when I got to when I saw the cast, I was surrounded by talent, amazingly talented people. Um, I wasn't sure if I was ready for it, but I am willing to give all that I have. Ryan, <laughs> Ryan, uh, Ryan was that is Ryan is that one person that would walk in the room and then, like if everybody is down, everybody is just so tired, and he would just get the party started. He would make happy people crack him up. He would be busting jokes. He was just like a ray of sunlight on a gloomy day. He was awesome. I mean, um, really talented designer. I've seen him work and. For him, uh, to me, what I learned from is that it's a whole process, and sometimes you don't really get what the final thing is going to be until sometimes late. But he is awesome. He he's really an awesome guy. Marshall Sandy from Trinidad. I had no idea who Marshall was. I spoke to him the day before we left to go to Jamaica, and I I really didn't know who he was. Seeing him on Mission Catwalk, I wasn't even impressed with him until we had a group challenge and Marshall pulled, Marshall just pulled stuff out of nowhere. And after that, I guess I was pretty much impressed with Marshall. I was just like, yeah, Marshall's from Trinidad, it's me. Yeah, me and Ryan were the only two competitors from Trinidad and Tobago competing against designers from Barbados, from Belize, Bahamas and Jamaica. So I had two designers which who was on my season from season two, Rebecca Sturm and Casey Estwick. Uh, we were basically like best friends in the house. So having to rekindle with them was really, really cool. Like it basically felt like a vacation for us. While everybody's thinking about competing, we're just like, let's go to the beach today. We had a good time um, and we represented really strong for Trinidad and Tobago. I can't say where we placed or anything like that, but definitely you need to look at the show on Saturday. Be sure to tune in Mission Catwalk on TV6 at 9.30 every Saturday. And also you can get all the updates on Mission Catwalk and the competition on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at Mission Catwalk and you can also look out for the text vote challenge that will be coming up shortly. Just stay tuned to TV6 and you know support us. Text to vote. Vote Bye, everyone. Everyone. <laughs>